Hey, welcome back to It's Just Gems. And today I want to share a video from Skip Bayless. We all saw the incident that took place with he and Shannon on the show the other day. They were going back and forth over Tom Brady and his poor performance. Well, Skip has come and made a statement about it. I want to share that with you guys. And first, I'm going to show a one minute clip from what happened on the show the other day. Well, I'm going to play the audio from that. And then it'll go into Skip's, I'm not going to say apology, but Skip's statement. And I'm sharing based on fair use guidelines. Still playing at a high level at 45 when you had to stop at 35. Yeah, that's what you that's do. That's the point. That's what you do. Every time somebody, every time I call something into question, I'm jealous. No, Skip, I did well, what I did. I never did. said you were jealous of Baker Mayfield. Skip, I did what I did. You make it seem like I was a bum. I'm in the effing Hall of Fame. Okay, I so got what? three Super Bowls. So what? So what? He's way better than you were. I'm better way than you. Better. Skip, what did I got to see what you do. You take personal shots. No, when you, for I, don't, I don't take yeah. personal Hold shots. Time you time started time it. Time out. You would take a personal shot at me. I didn't so, take oh, a personal shot at you. Wait a minute. What are you talking about? You would take a personal shot. Put your glasses back on. Can I finish? You're willing to take a personal shot at me to say this man is better than me because I say he's playing bad this year? Well, because you 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 just Go ahead. you disrespect him. It's it's just so it, so it's you, beneath, just, you know what? It's beneath your you dignity. You would disrespect me to no, support him. No, well I'll, I'll support him over anybody because he's the greatest player who ever have played your it. game, and it's by have far. Have at it. Have at it. Okay? Take off, I'm bro. going to have at it because I'm going to have at you. Now that was just a reminder of what happened on the show between Skip and Shannon, and now this is what Skip had to say. So, as you might know, my man Shannon Sharp and I did get into it the other day on Undisputed, live, over, of course, Tom Brady. Brothers fight. Shannon and I compete hard on Undisputed. What's the theme song? No Mercy. I have the highest regard for Shannon Sharp because he prepares and he competes so hard. He's my toughest opponent ever. It's not even close. And I love to do battle with my man, even though occasionally we go a little too far. But if you happen to be actually watching the live episode this past Monday, we both got over it very quickly. We moved right along. We got right back on track, business as usual, for the final, what, hour and 45 minutes of Undisputed on Monday. But it always seems that we fight the hardest over Baker Mayfield and Tom Brady. We often, as you know, battle over LeBron James, but we don't really fight over LeBron. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because Shannon's in the Pro Football Hall of Fame, not in the Basketball Hall of Fame. So, deeper question. Why do I defend Tom Brady so fiercely? I've never met the man. Never communicated with him in any way, shape, or form. I'm a Cowboy fan, as you know. I, I don't really care about the Patriots or the Bucs. I just think Tom Brady is the greatest football player ever and the clutchest. I think Shannon has the hardest time viewing Tom as a quarterback, as the greatest football player, and I will give in to that. It's almost like the great pocket passers are playing some other game that's above and beyond the actual game of football. Shannon says Brady at 45 rarely gets hit, though this past Sunday at San Francisco, he did get hit a season high eight times. But I will amend my staunch stance to, okay, Brady's the greatest quarterback ever, but not the greatest football player ever. Well, that was Skip. He didn't apologize or come out and say, hey, I went too far and take personal accountability. He said they sometimes go too far, but he didn't say anything about himself and being sorry or apologetic about it. Hey, that's between him and Shannon. We'll see what happens in the future of the show and on the show. 
Skip mentioned that they went on like normal for another hour and a half or hour and 45 minutes after they went back and forth with each other. But sometimes people need to sleep on things, talk to their inner circle, think about them before they really assess how they truly feel about what happened. So maybe Shannon may think about it and feel like uh, -uh, this is too much for him to get over and they finish out the season and they're done. Or maybe he just shrugs it off as boys, you know, these we just brothers and we fight and we move on. Sometimes men can get past stuff easier than women and they don't hold a grudge or whatever. But sometimes something can hurt a person's feelings enough where it's like, oh, okay, I thought we were a little bit better than that or I thought we were this, but I see. And so I'll just keep that in my pocket and going forward and I'll know how to move differently. But we shall see how this transpires between Skip and Shannon. Let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you hit the like button before you go and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next time, peace.